back to my channel. It's Malik Jante, and we are back with another video. You know, if you didn't know, we are currently in 14 Days of Love, honey. This year, I'm doing a video every single day until Valentine's Day. It will be something regarding to love, whether it's the love of makeup, love of self, finding new love, old love, story times, things of that nature. You'll get all of that in these next 14 days. But today we are going to, guys. So I decided, you know how you're just like, trying not to say, but you wanna say, but you try not to say, but you gonna say it, but you just, ugh. Okay, so. In quarantine, it's very difficult to meet new people or, you know, reach out to different people, whatever the case may be. And social media, online dating, dating apps is how you're going to find new people at the current moment. Um, since we're not really going out, we're not doing too much. I literally go to maybe three places, the gym, the grocery store and the gas station to get gas. That is all the places that I go to. And honestly, when I go to the grocery store, I'm either doing the pickup or I literally run into like Sam's Club. I pay for the stuff in my cart and I'm running out the store. Like I'm not in there long at the gym. I'm not focused on anybody but my workout. And at the gas station, we pumping that gas and we, we up and out. So you're not really meeting new people. So I decided to take you guys along with me as I try two dating apps. Um, now, before we jump into everything, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So guys, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, my sorority sister came over and we was talking about online dating, whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. She was like, so I downloaded Bumble just, just to be, you know, if I'm bored, I can swipe through some people. Here's my issue with Bumble, okay? The area, it goes by your area, which most of them do, but where I live, there's not a lot of <laughs> us. Um, and my preference is us. Um, not that I'm shunning away any other race. If that connection is there, okay, whatever. But I would prefer a black male that is successful or looking for success or generational wealth, all of that. But here's my thing. I never go into dating apps with the idea that I'm finding the love of my life, anything of that nature. It's literally just like, if I'm bored, let's swipe through people. Um, so let me show you all. I'm going to go ahead and move over just a little bit so I can show you all my profile. It's very simple. Um, I'll give you some photos like close up, a body shot maybe. And yeah, nothing too crazy. Um and that's what I put in my profile. Um, I'll answer some of the like normal questions. They have questions on there like, are you in a relationship? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you just looking for a friend? Is this for business? Do you have kids? Do you want kids? Um, how many kids? Do you want more kids if you already have kids? Um, your height, all of those things. So here's my thing. Men do not put in the same effort that I think females do when it comes to their profiles. Um, so many times, I don't want to put people out there because it's literally like a privacy thing, but I will like try to edit someone there where you can't really see their face situation, but you'll see what I'm saying. So I've seen a lot of profiles that A, either are very blurry Mm -mm. sir I can't I need some clarity in these photos so sir I need to know what you look like I see a lot of guys that will 
the camera is like right here. Sir, I don't want to be in your pores. I don't want to be up your nostrils. I don't want to see your eyelashes. Like, why are you so close to the camera? Back up. Back up. Um, I see a lot of guys that will like, they only, they'll put up like four or five pictures, but it'll only be like profile pictures or them looking away from the camera or it's from a far, far distance. Like they're standing <laughs> all the way back there at the corner and then they take the picture and they expect you to be like, yeah, let's swipe right. It's a no for me. Um, what I've also noticed is a lot of guys will like, their pictures that they choose to put up are like group photos. So you don't know who you're looking at. You don't know who the person is. You could be thinking that it's the tall, you know, handsome, dark man. But then it's really like the friend that's like five foot two. Um, I see a lot of guys on there who... <laughs> They like, I don't know if they think that this is just like a a way to like get a girl's attention. They'll like, they'll take the sexy gym picture where they like show their V's and they're like, and so. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. What what are we doing? What what is what's <laughs> what's <laughs> y'all? I literally be sitting here dying, like completely dying, looking at these photos. Like I want to sometimes like screenshot them and send them to my friends. Like what is this? Why do we have this? Why <laughs> why? Um, y'all, it just be so all over the place. What I will say with Bumble, if you match with someone, the female has to do the first introduction, which is nice versus somebody like hassling you and haggling you. Um, I've definitely seen that with like Tinder, like you'll match with somebody and honey, they are down your throat, like chill bro. Like it's, it's a dating app. Let's take it step by step. Um, yeah, Bumble also has like the feature where they'll choose a random photo and you have to like mirror that photo so that they know that you're an actual person and not like a robot or a clone or anything of that nature, which is nice so that you can have like a verified account that you're actually who you are. I think that sometimes that is what scares women um, from doing online dating because you don't really know if the person is who they say that they are. Um, and I will commend these dating apps of trying to make it as realistic as possible. Like you can attach your Instagram if you want to, it won't share your Instagram name, but it'll just show that you have an Instagram and, you know, a variety of photos, because sometimes if someone is catfishing someone, they only are able to get a few photos, not recent photos, but a few photos and, you know, that's all that they can do. But if you're able to attach your Instagram, maybe you can show a variety of, you know, areas, events, things and th that nature so that it gives some re relatability. Um, I matched with, so here's the thing. I always do it when I'm done working, whatever the case may be for the day. Um, and at that time it's like 1130 midnight. No, I'm not just out here just searching for a man at midnight and one in the morning. That's just when I have free time, when I'm not doing other things throughout my day. So I matched with two guys on Bumble. And the first guy, um, it was just, I'll, I'll, oh, it might be gone because I blocked him. Hmm. I think it's gone. But I will say we had exchanged like two, two responses. I think it was like, hey, hey, um, what are you doing on here? My response, because I'm sarcastic, uh, swiping left on people, you know, nothing too crazy. 
Um, and his response was, oh, yeah, me too. Can I go ahead and FaceTime you? Excuse me? On these dating apps, I don't think there's like a video feature where you guys can. Actually, I'm lying. There is a video feature, but I, I just, I feel like, can we even like introduce ourselves, get to know each other before we step into this realm of FaceTime and you in my personal space and things of that nature? Or what was, it wasn't even a FaceTime. He was like, I'm just trying to come see you because it tells you the distance you are from someone. That's weird. That's really, really weird and creepy. Like, I don't know what was in his mind when he when he said it. I, I, I don't know. So I, I literally just like, unmatch, we, this is not gonna work. So we can, you know, dissipate into the world. So he just don't even know I exist anymore. You know what I mean? Because that, it's like boundaries, like, you don't just get the cookie without work. Like, I don't understand. Like, you, it's just like getting a job. You don't just, like, see a job and be like, oh, yeah. That's a nice position. And then you start the next day. No, you apply for the position. You interview for the position. And then they will let you know if you meet the requirements of that, that position to move forward on and actually completing the job. Homeboy like skipped step one through five and was trying to get the seven. And I was just like, oh, this is too much. This is why I don't do this. this is, like, I literally was just like, oh, no, I could literally delete this app. Like, I just can't do it. So prior to me downloading Bumble, I will say that, you know, Instagram runs ads all the time because that's what Instagram does. There was a ad for Black BLK, which is supposed to be a Black like tinder or bumble i would say tinder because the guys can reach out to you versus bumble um and i was like okay y'all know we're trying to find a, our black husband I'm, don't shoot me i'm just i'm looking for my black king um yeah so i downloaded it and it just wasn't the move either like y'all i'd be just so irritated quickly <laughs> i'm tired of the let me post <laughs> let me post the picture because i'm a thug and let's throw up gang signs in our picture mm, no it's not appealing let me show you my grill so i take the picture this close and it's literally just this part just showing my grill where your teeth are not straight they're actually crooked and then you had the audacity to actually get grills as well to emphasize the fact that you're, you're y'all almost cussed. Your stuff is not together. Um, the whole money pose where they, they take the money and they put it on their arm or they put it up their ear. Um, I'm just... I, Maybe I'm just, my standards are so, like, I don't want to say they're so high, but I just have standards and I just don't understand how, like, you're supposed to put your best foot forward, whether you're looking for a serious relationship, a friendship, or anything like the initial, like, the initial picture that someone sees of you, you want them to be like, oh, Oh, okay maybe you know give you an idea to dig deeper uh -uh. i don't get that i literally be on there like picture come up swipe picture come swipe 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 it's so bad that i'm swiping so fast that sometimes i even miss some people that i might genuinely be initially attracted to because i'm moving so fast because i'm just annoyed with what is visually there <sighs> I see some people who literally will post pictures with other females on their profile, but they're looking for a relationship and I'm just confused. Like, is this your girlfriend? Is this your sister? Is this your cousin? Do you not have any photos that are just you? 
I feel like there should be, y'all, I think I'm just so particular that it just doesn't work out. Um, but I think there should be like protocol, like you don't post pictures in your actual suggestions of you and a group of people or you with coupled up with someone else. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think a requirement should be for them to put their height, even though I think a lot of guys lie about how tall they are. Um, I think height is an important thing because just imagine you are literally, if you start talking to someone and y'all talk every day or whatever the case may be, and then y'all initially meet up and you realize that he's like three inches or whatever shorter than you, oh my God. Because I don't know, like, I'm a tall girl and maybe my requirements are a little much, but can you at least be six foot, six foot one? I'm not even requiring you to be six four, six seven. I Can you just be taller than me? Like, these five, eight, five, nine men, I just cannot. I can't do it. Like, I just, we're looking at each other. I can't wear no heels. If I wear heels, we look weird. We look like the number 10. Like, I just, y'all, this stressed to be out. I'm not going to hold you. Like, this legit stressed me out. It was just so much going on. And not only that, like I told you before, it was called BLK. It's, it's dedicated to black love. Mm, Y'all, there wasn't just black people on there. I, mm, that goes into a whole nother situation of people, how do you say? Um, appropriating our culture. <laughs> Can you, like, can we have it? Can can we, can, can we just, can we just, can, can we just have a space for our own? You all have a lot of spaces. Can we, can we have something of our own? I think there is a fetish. Ooh, I'm about to offend some people. Let me not say it. I'm not going to... Mm. There is a reality that there is a fetish of other raced men who really just want black women just for the idea of it being a black woman. Not because he genuinely likes her or understands her culture or anything of that nature. Just wants her because she's black. And I think that's... I I can't let it go. But yeah. Um, I think <laughs> y'all, this video is probably all over the place because there's so many thoughts that I'm literally thinking when looking through these apps. Like, so at this point, y'all, I haven't found the love of my life. Um, I haven't found someone new to talk to. Um I just haven't. What I will say though, this is the last thing and we're going to wrap this thing up because at this point, my love is, I don't know, down south, y'all. I really think my husband is down south. Um, he is a, a businessman that is six foot three and he is looking to create generational wealth and he has this southern twang and, you know, he's very manly. Like I, I envision my husband. He not in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. so at this moment she's gonna remain single um because i cannot <laughs> and i will not and that's on period okay so yeah thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to thumbs up this video tell me about your experiences in the comments um have you tried dating apps like what are your opinions about it do you think it's weird too or awkward or sometimes you're just like what the f like uh what, what are we doing here um i'm pretty sure i am pretty sure that there are some good men out there 
But it's like so many men to so many women and so much swiping that you have to do to get to that point. And it's just like, do we really, do I have the patience for it? So there's that. Um, yeah. So like I said, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.